Hello and welcome to this demonstration of the desktop. Very briefly, the desktop is a virtual machine environment built by NobleProg. Um, for ambitious and forward-thinking organizations, it has enabled us to deliver engaging and interactive training uh, wherever the delegates may be based. Um, accessing DD for your live instructor-led remote course is simple and safe, but rather than explain it, uh, we're going to demonstrate it in action so that you can see exactly how it works and what it really looks like to have a remote course delivered via the NobleProg training room. Now, as your trainer, I've already created the desktop I'm going to be using for this course. I've uploaded all the labs and the materials so that when the delegates join, there's consistency across all participants' desktops. Um, everyone has everything they need and there is no delay to the start of your course. I've locked the desktop so that I can now clone it for the delegates. Um, and as a delegate, you will simply be sent this link. It starts with DD4T, which stands for the desktop for training. And that's all you'll need. DD then creates the desktops in seconds. I've already invited the delegates to the training room, so I can now join and we'll start the course. The delegates are now starting to join. So we should have uh, Roy's joining us from Amsterdam. Hello, Roy. Welcome to the hey, course. Ben. We have Hello. Junaid. Hi, Junaid, joining us from Dubai. Uh, Steve joins us from the UK and Saba and Gautam also join us from Dubai. Hi, Steve. And we have Mandla from South Africa. So as everybody joins the okay. training room, hi, Mandla. As everyone joins the training room, they will be able to access their desktop. They will see the materials that I've loaded and they'll start to explore the environment. Now, as the trainer, of course, I need to have a visual on all of the delegates' desktops. And to access that, I simply click on the multi-display icon at the bottom. This gives me a visual on everybody's desktop so I can see that Roy has opened up the materials, uh, Steve has opened up the materials, Jeanaid has opened them. Uh, Mandler hasn't yet opened them, and I can see, in fact, that on the set status symbol, Mandler has raised his hand. Mandler, can I help you at all? Uh, yes, Ben, I'm struggling to open this folder. I wonder if you can help me. Yes, so as the trainer, I can take control of any of the desktops. So let me open up Mandler's desktop, and I can then take control help him out, open up the materials, and get him started on the course. And once I've done that, I can come back out, get a visual on everybody's. And you can now see that Mandler's uh, together with everybody else and has opened it up. Now, what you'll also see is the slide section on the left-hand side. Now, what I've done as the trainers, I've already loaded up the slides for this course. I've done it via the NobleProg Slide Hub, Course M as this appears to the trainer is exactly how it appears to the delegates. So they will see their desktop or my desktop. They'll also be able to see these slides and they can independently control these slides and they can also make them full screen. So in reality, for most training courses, we will move between the slide presentation and then also the practical part uh, delivered via the desktops. And all the time I have a visual of all of the activity and I can maintain the progress of the course and ensure that nobody's left behind. The other feature we have are the chat functions. You'll see at the top we have a public chat function so anybody can share any messages with all of the group. We also have a private chat function so that I can share a private chat with any of the delegates when I've got visuals on their activity. Uh, and they can also share private chats with each other. And I'll see the public chats and we can use that for suggestions to answers and I can review it with the whole group. I also mentioned the set status feature. We used it earlier to be able to see that that Mandler had raised his hand and I came in to control his desktop. I can also use it to gauge understanding of the course as a quick visual. And I can see that Jeanaid has got his thumbs up, he's understanding, and others will be able to do the same. And we can move on to the next part of the course. We have six delegates plus the trainer in this, all sat at home from all over the world. We have had courses with delegate numbers in the 20s and the technology can support more if appropriate for the course. We can provide this service on a public cloud private cloud, hybrid, or on-premise cloud. And when we finish, the desktop can be left open for a time for the delegates to continue to review the materials. And we'll have a record feature so that if they need to review any part of the course or the course in totality, they can do. This is why we think it's as close to a classroom environment as we can make it, that you can sit at home. That's DD for T. It's your classroom wherever you want it. Thanks for watching our demonstration.